Good morning. God bless you. A blessed Friday to you. We're going to pray. I haven't been able to cross post my rosary for weeks. But I'm trying something new this morning. I'm trying, I'm going to try it one at a time. Hopefully my computer won't die before I finish. But it looks like at least some people are being reached, which I'm glad because the more of us that praise together, the greater graces each one of us gets. I get more grace when I have all of you praying for me and with me and vice versa. We're still in the Christmas season. It's not yet epiphany. So although we'll pray the sorrowful mysteries, we'll meditate on the Christ child and how he suffered as our Savior, even as a little one. And we will pray our consecration to the Sacred Heart, our enthronement of our homes, and to the Most Precious Blood as well. I ask for you to pray, as always, for the intentions of Our Lady. Especially in Fatima, she asks that we pray every day for the conversion of Russia. And I ask for prayers for our big projects for Russia. I have my book translated into Russian, and we need to find a way to get it to the people. It's about the suffering and the passion of Christ. We pray for the end of the war in the Ukraine. We pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, not only in Russia, but throughout the whole world, and in our own hearts and homes and families and lives. We pray for the end of the war in the Middle East, between Israel and Palestine, for the end to the war in the Sudan. We pray for those who are greatly persecuted in Pakistan and Afghanistan, and Iraq and Iran, and Nigeria, the Cameroon, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, Nicaragua, Colombia, Mexico, China, and throughout the whole world. We pray for all of the projects and the needs of the Fiat Foundation and the Children of the Cross prayer groups and for this Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer. We pray for those who are sick, those of you who are sick and those who you want to pray for. We especially remember children. We remember Levi and Liam and Jonathan and Colton and Calvin and Aubrey, Cecilia, Colette, Sophia, Michael, Landon, Lincoln, Nora, Joseph, Matteo, Vianney, Miriam, and for all the other children who we maybe have seen intentions posted or that you know, that the Lord may alleviate their pain. And we pray for adults as well. There's something special about the suffering of innocence that's particularly painful to watch. We pray for those with dementia and Alzheimer's, those who are struggling with their aging, those with Alzheimer's and dementia and their caretakers. We pray for all of our benefactors in any way, anyone who's helped us in life. We pray for children who are abused and neglected, trafficked, abandoned. We pray for those in the foster care system and their caretakers, those who are threatened by abortion for an end to abortion, for those who are expecting babies, who have just had babies, those longing to conceive, those who've lost children, those longing to adopt. We pray for, in a special way, all those with financial issues, those looking for work or for better work, more just work. We pray for those who are struggling financially in their household or in their mission, whatever that mission is. We pray in a special way for those whose lives are threatened by suffering or persecution because of their faith. We ask the Lord to help them. We pray in a special way for peace throughout the whole world, for government leaders and for um, church leaders throughout the world. We ask God to be with them, to 
help them become holy. We pray for our priests. We pray in a special way for um, all of the intentions of all of you and all of the people who are with us here today praying and all of those who are prevented from being with us. We ask the Lord in his goodness to pour out his grace and his miraculous um, healing upon all of those who are with us or long to be with us. We remember young people, those who are discerning schools and vocations, those who are longing to find their spouse, all people who are in a period of waiting. And we pray for those who've left the church, those who need conversion, for the unrepentant and the unforgiven, for divisions, for those in difficult marriages, those whose relationships have been torn apart, that God may heal them. And I ask you in your mercy to remember my intentions, and I promise to remember all of your intentions as we pray. I'm going to give it a break here, and then I'll come back and continue to share this. But it seems to be working this way. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I forgot. Oh, I, um, the earthquakes in Japan, right? We pray for all of those who um, are suffering from the earthquake in Japan and from the explosion in Iran. And we pray for all of our own needs. You can enlist them now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart in reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself Sorry, entirely to thee, and to show my devotion to thee, I consecrate to thee this day my eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. And we pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, for the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for their physical and spiritual protection, for their intentions, for their conversions, for the graces they need to be like Christ, for humility and integrity and faithfulness, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage and fortitude, mercy and justice, generosity, reparation and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the first mystery, the first sorrowful mystery, is the agony in the garden. And earlier this week, we meditated on how um, that first place of prayer that Christ had on earth was in nature. He was born in a stable. He was outside. He was laid in a wooden manger. And as he prayed in the agony of the garden, nature was his cathedral. He leaned upon a rock as he prayed. He put his back against a tree, like in the manger. Christ always saw a poverty that is appropriate with his own humility. And yet, heaven was there. Angels proclaimed. Gloria in Bethlehem and angels came to comfort him in the Garden of Gethsemane when his apostles fell asleep and he sweat blood. In this mystery, we ask for the Lord to show us what it is in our life that's excess, that he wants us to strip ourselves of so that there's more room for his love, so there's room for his angels to enter in, so there's room for his providence. We ask Jesus in the garden to remember us with his childlike simplicity before the throne of his Father in heaven and to pray for all of the intentions that we've listed and all of those that weigh your hearts heavy today. We ask that in all circumstances we can pray with Jesus, Father, thy will be done. We pray, most sacred heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, of mercy on us, sacred heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the Virgin Mother's womb, of mercy on us, sacred heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, of mercy on us, sacred heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, of mercy on us, sacred heart of Jesus, holy temple of God, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Tabernacle of the Most High, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, House of God and Gate of Heaven, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, flowing, Glowing Furnace of Charity, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Vessel of Justice and Love, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Full of Goodness and Love, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Abyss of All Virtues, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, of mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. The agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the immaculate heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. In this mystery, we think of the great innocence of Christ's scourge. We think of that tiny baby in Bethlehem. And we think about the horrible desecration of his body in the scourging. We pray with St. Thomas of Solano, exhausted you sought me, crucified you saved me. May your wounds not be in vain. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we've all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and rich in mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, rich to all who call on you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, found of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our offenses, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with reproaches, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our iniquities, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, have mercy on us. The scourging of the pillar, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radu Sia Maria, Blagadati Polaya, Gaspot Savoy, Blagoslavian, Natinez de Jonami, E Blagoslavian, Plochereva, Tvaya Bo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja Marisa Nascreshi, Nini Vchas Mirti Nashiana, Polish. Strovish Maria Waski Pelna Panstavo, Bogoswavionash Tienz and Avastani, E Bogoswavioni, Ovat Shavota Tvaego Jesus, Shvenda Maria, Matka Bosha, Mudalshis and Amikshishmini, Terasif Gojina, E Shmirchina, she amen Spanish. Gios de Salve Maria, Yenaris de Grazia, El Senores Cantiga. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu aseño, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dio, praga per noi peccadori adesso, nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radio Sia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspot Staboy, Blagoslavian Natinez de Jonami, E Blagoslavian Plodshareva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja Marisa Nascreshi, Nini Vchas Mirti Nashiamen Polish, Strovash Maria Waski Pauna Pan Staboy, Bogoslavionash Tinez Nevestani, I Bogoswavioni, Ova Chivota Tvego Jesus, Shventa Maria Matka Bosha Mudalshis and Amik Shishmini, Terasif Gojina, I Shmirchina Shianan, Spanish, Dios de Salve Maria, Yenaris de Grazia. O Senores Contigo, Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Muerte. Amén. Italia. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y cante. Tu se benedetta fra la donne y benedetto el fruto del tu aseño, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi, pecadores, adesso, en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria, Patri et Filio, et Spiritu Sancto, sicurera in principio et nunc et semper, Er in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the immaculate heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery is a crowning with thorns. Here we had baby Jesus who came as the King of heaven and earth and who grew up in order to rule us with love, with a 
rod of love. And yet, we placed on him a crown of thorns. Reminds me of that lament that we'll pray here in Lent coming up. Oh, my people, what have I done to you? How have I offended you? Answer me. In this mystery, let's pray for those who have erroneous thought, those who are led astray by heresies or, or things that are just false, right? False ways of thinking. We pray that Christ suffered the crowning of thorns to make our minds full of not only truth, but the wisdom of God. That's a truth that's subject to love. God's love, right? Not man's definition of love. We pray for those who are in um, the ministry of education. We pray for the minds of our young people to be preserved and protected, especially in innocence. We pray for those who work with their minds for the good of humanity those who are in the medical field, those who engineer different ways for people to live, right? To get water, or to have safe housing. We pray for those in higher education to teach the truth. I pray for grace on my doctoral work. We pray for teachers to be full of the Holy Spirit. We pray for those in authority to be just. Pray for those who suffer injustice. The crowning with thorns. Oops, heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who hope in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints, have mercy on us. A crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Here, Jesus' first cross was being born in Bethlehem and not at home, right? And what caused that? Um, the census, right? Herod wanted to call a census. So all of the people of Jesus' human heritage, the line of David, were gathered together in Bethlehem. What a beautiful example of the power of family history and genealogy. It was all of the kings in the line of David that passed down the faith to Christ. And in one of the genealogies in the Gospels, it, it goes all the way back to Abraham and to Adam. You can start with the first man and pass down, how the faith was passed down, right? The faith in the one God. And then once Christ came, he passed the faith down to each one of us through concrete people, right? Jesus' um, faith was given to us through the cross, through suffering. Suffering has always been part of it, right? And those who've passed the faith down to us have not been spared suffering. The first apostles and the first bishops and popes and those early church saints were martyred. And down to today, people suffer for the faith. And I think about here, I'm sitting by this nativity. This is a particular one that's special. My aunt gave it to me, but it was my great-grandfather's who came over at 14 on a ship from Poland. They're not sure if he made it or he just had it. It's all disproportionate. It's chipped, but I don't want to touch it. It's the nativity that sat in great-grandpa Kashmir Pushikovsky's home and then was in my grandparents' home. And then my mom worked on that when she was little and my aunt had it and she gave it to me. They suffered for their faith so that I could have faith. And so in this mystery, I want for each one of you to think about your ancestors who suffered for your faith. I found the name of some ancestors on my dad's side in Auschwitz. They were killed for their faith. And it was their faithfulness in suffering that it allowed me to be born into a Catholic family that prayed the rosary, that loved Our Lady, that went to Mass every Sunday. And so it's easy for me to respond to grace because of the cross they bore. And you can trace it all the way back to Christ. And the same is true for you. Let's offer this decade of the rosary of the carrying of the cross for those who have suffered to give us faith. And it, particularly in our families, but also just in life. Is there a priest who bore the suffering for you? Is there a friend? Is there a teacher? Who is it that suffers so that your faith can bear fruit? Let's offer this decade for them. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, save us. Blood of Christ, incarnate Word of God, save us. Blood of Christ of the New and Eternal Testament, save us. 
Blood of Christ falling upon the earth and the agony, save us. Blood of Christ shed profusely in the scourging, save us. Blood of Christ flowing forth in the crowning with thorns, save us. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross, save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation, save us. Blood of Christ without which there is no forgiveness, save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of soul, save us. Caring of the cross, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. Come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, Radusia Maria. Blagoda tu polnaya gaspod staboyu. Blagoslav yen natin yesh dishonen. I blagoslav yen plodshreba tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria mater boja malisa nas greshin. Nimi vcha smirti nashi amen. Polish. Strovish Maria waski pauna pan stabo. Bogosvarbionish tinyenza nevestani. I bogosvarbioni, o vod shavod an tvaiego Jesus. Shventa Maria, matka boja, mudal shizana min kshishnibi. Teras iv gojina i shmir jina shi amen. Spanish. Dios te salve Maria. Llena de este gracia el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesus. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Amén. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedicta, fraudone y benedicto el fruto del tu Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega por nosotros pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, frutus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polna ia gaspod staboi, blagaslav ien natin ies dushomeni, I blagoslav yen plodshreva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, mater boja malisa nas grishni. Nimi vcha smirti nashi amen, polish. Strovash Maria waski pauna pan stabo. Bogoslav yon ashti nienza nevestani. I bogoslav yoni ovat shavata tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria, matka boja mudal shesana miksha shnibi. Teras iv gojina i shmir jina shi amen, Spanish. Dios te salve, Maria, llena de este gracia al Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Atam. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu se benedicta fra la donna y benedicto el fruto del tuo Señor Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu en mulieribus, et benedictus frutus ventris tui, Jesús. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicurerat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from those fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. 
Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Baby Jesus came to earth to reconcile sinful man to God. And to bring peace to all people of goodwill. And we remember in this mystery how Jesus hung on the cross and what did he pray? Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And there were two thieves, one of goodwill and one of bad will. Christ didn't look at what they'd done. He looked at their will. Where was their will? Was their will open to grace? Was their will contrite? Was their will desiring holiness? And the thief that asked for mercy, Jesus promised heaven. In this mystery, let's pray for those who have wronged us in life. Let's pray that the Father forgives them. Let's pray for forgiveness of anyone that we may have wronged, willingly or unwillingly. Let's pray that we can be reconcilers of the world to God. And let's pray that God's peace may reign in the hearts of all of those who we know all of those who we encounter. If they're of good will, his peace will take hold of their hearts. And if they're in ill will, the peace will return back to you. And lastly, let's offer this mystery for all those who come after us, for fruitfulness in their lives of grace, for holiness, for our physical descendants, right? for those of our families, and for our spiritual descendants, for all of those whose lives we've touched, that will have that ripple effect throughout the rest of time into eternity. We want to water the souls the Lord has entrusted to us with graces of forgiveness, of peace, of fruitfulness, of love. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy, save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons, save us. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs, save us. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors, save us. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins, save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril, save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burden, save us. Blood of Christ, solace and sorrow, save us. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent, save us. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying, save us. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of hearts, save us. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life, save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory, save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honor, save us. And I also invite you to pray for the young man that just walked by my house. The crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray.
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn that O most gracious advocate thy ways of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known, that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O St. Joseph, whose protection was so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. 
O oh, Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you, and Jesus will sleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O oh, Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from you. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families, relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests, and the dead. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. We beg of you, Saint Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, seraphim and cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray, do thou, princes of a heavenly host, by the power of God thrust in hell, Satan all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls and men. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commends us here, ever this day be at our side, the light and guard and rule and guide. Amen. We pray for those who have died, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May your perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, we offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world, for all the holy souls in purgatory and sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within our own home and within our own family. Amen. St. Patrick's Prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth and his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill far and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and malicious power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, black laws of paganism, false laws of heretics, the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizards, satanists, and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ, to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, drowning and wounding, sickness and calvary, disobedience, disrespect, profanity, immodesty, chastity, impurity, debt, fear, worry, discouragement and despair, misunderstanding and confusion, self-pity, self-absorption, greed, addiction, unrepentance, unforgiveness, jealousy, abandonment, competition, blocking, division, manipulation, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, and pride, anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, 
and against every other evil that could come against me or all of those for whom I pray, so that there may come to all of us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through the mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And we pray the consecration to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And at the beginning of the, this is, um, the first Friday right, of the month, we pray the enthronement of our home to the Sacred Heart as well. O most amiable and adorable Heart of Jesus, O Heart infinitely compassionate and merciful, my refuge in all dangers, my hope in all trials, my comfort and consolation in all sorrows, Behold me humbly prostrate before you to implore your mercy, to claim your protection, to offer myself entirely to you. You see the dangers that surround me, the storms by which I'm assailed. The powers of darkness have risen against your holy church and against me, your unworthy but devoted servant. They have laid waste your inheritance. They have overturned your altars. They have persecuted those that love and honor your sacred name. And now they glory in the evil which they have done and daily boast that they have triumphed over you and your church and have destroyed your worship from the face of the earth. But you are almighty, and who shall resist you? You will arise in your power, and your enemies shall perish from before your face. You will command the winds and the waves, and there will be a great calm. Animated with this confidence in your power and love, O divine heart, I present my supplication on this day of my solemn consecration to you. Deign to receive my offering, unworthy as it is, and grant my prayer for the church and for all of your devoted missionaries who solemnly dedicate themselves to your honor. O merciful heart of Jesus, ever open to admit me to your sacred and secure asylum, I, and then say your name, Mary Elizabeth Ankloska, your servant, desiring to give you a proof of my devotion, and to receive from you the assistance and protection which I need in these calamitous times for the church, for the Holy See, and for myself. Do on this day publicly and solemnly consecrate myself entirely to you, my life and labor, my thoughts, words, actions, sufferings, and needs. I pledge myself to you as your devoted servant forever. I consecrate to you my person, my home, my occupation, my education, my property and possessions, my finances, my ministry, the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross, the Bethany House of Crucified Love and Prayer, my vocation, my family, my relationships, and all of those for whose spiritual good I labor in your service, that your spirit may reign over them, your love sustain them, your grace sanctify them, and make them at all times pleasing in your sight. O oh, sweet and adorable heart of Jesus, accept this holocaust which I offer to you. Inflame it with your divine love that it may ascend before you in an odor of sweetness, and that united with your infinite merits, it may bring down upon me, upon your holy church, upon our holy Father, our, upon our holy Father, Pope Francis, and upon all members of our organization, the Fiat Foundation, the Children of the Cross the abundance of your blessing, the heavenly showers of your grace, the rich treasures which you have promised to those who would honor you. I make my consecration, uniting my heart to the immaculate heart of Mary and begging the Virgin Mother of God to present it to you. Through her maternal intercession, may I do always what you, her son, tell me to do for your greater glory and for the salvation of souls. Throw around me, your servant, the shield of your protection, 
Guard me against the malice of the wicked who hate your church because it's yours and who persecute me because I love your holy name and defend your honor. Let me find in you my refuge, consolation, and hope. May you be my support in life, my confidence in death, my eternal enjoyment in heaven. By this consecration and enthronement of the Sacred Heart, we link the tabernacle of our parish church to our home, inviting our Lord to be our constant and most intimate companion. Holy Mary, Mother of God, who is conceived without original sin, we choose you this day as the Lady and Mistress of this house. We beseech you through your Immaculate Conception to preserve it from pestilence, fire, and water from lightning and tempests, from robbery, vandalism, and death, from schism and heresy, from earthquake, war, sudden death, violence, abuse, division, discouragement, unfaithfulness, all sin and all evil. Bless and protect, O Holy Virgin, all of those who dwell herein, all of those who visit, both physically and virtually. Obtain for us the grace to avoid all sin, Fill each of us with the grace to love as your Son Jesus loved, and save us from every misfortune and accident. Through the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, I consecrate this home and property to the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Most Chaste Heart of Joseph. In the name of Jesus Christ and through the power of his blood, I command you, Satan, to leave this ground, this home, my family, my relationships, my life, my work, my ministry, and that all may be holy. I call upon the Holy Spirit to fill my life, my family, my relationships, my work and ministry and education, my home and property and possessions. And I bless all of them in this holy name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And lastly, we have the consecration to the precious blood. O Jesus, fairest of the children of men, thou who I see crushed beneath the weight of my sins, covered with wounds, thy hands and feet pierced with nails, thy side open with a lance, I adore thee and recognize thee as my Lord and God and his beloved Redeemer. Pierced with grief at the sight of the blood flowing from thy wounds from the redemption of souls, I feel irresistibly urged to consecrate myself to the worship of this regenerating blood and by exemplary life to atone for all the profanations of this divine blood, and for those which it still receives daily in the veins of thy sacred body, present mystically on the altar. By this consecration, which I beg thee to accept, O my Savior, I desire to spend my whole life in proving to thee my gratitude and my love, by paying frequent homage to thy precious blood, and by propagating this devotion as far as is in my power. I desire every pulsation of my heart to be a renewal of this consecration, a constantly up, repeated act of love for this redeeming blood, a perpetual offering of its merits in behalf of sinners and all the souls dear to me, and a hymn of unceasing praise in union with that of the saints and all the blessed in heaven. To the Lamb who, is re who has redeemed us in his blood, be honor and glory and benediction forever. O Mary, Mother of the Divine Redeemer, obtain for me the grace of adoring fervently throughout my life the blood of thy divine Son and of singing forever its mercies in heaven. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of our Lady, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John Newman, pray for us. All you holy angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you confessors, pray for us. All of you virgins, pray for us. All you holy men and women of God, pray for us. All of you children of God, pray for us. All you holy saints, pray for us. And all the souls in purgatory, pray for us. Saint Xenia, pray for us. Saint Walter and Cajetan, pray for us. Saints Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, pray for us. Saints Timothy, Titus, Barnabas, and Matthias, pray for us. Saint Zita and Miriam, pray for us. Saint John of the Cross, Teresa of Avalanche, Therese of Lisieux, Edith Stein, pray for us. Saint 
Gerard, pray for us. St. Aquinas and Augustine and Ambrose, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia. Have a blessed Friday. We're still in these this Easter season here until we hit Epiphany. I actually am like my Polish ancestors. I celebrate Christmas all the way till February 2nd, the presentation. In Poland, they sing Christmas carols and they, they really celebrate it still like the old church did. So my Christmas things go up late and they stay up. <laughs> Um, so you'll see that in the background, but I will come back again tomorrow. I hope to be on the larger pages. If not, I will for surely be on my personal page. And I'm sorry that Facebook's been blocking. We just keep pudging through, right? So please pray for me and my intentions today and know that I'm praying for you. God bless you all.